Thank you for purchasing the Ingenuity Power Adapt Portable Swing. This short video will help you assemble your new swing. If you still have questions after watching this video, please refer back to the instruction manual included with your swing or call our Consumer Services Department. This video should not be used in lieu of your instruction manual. Please refer to your instruction manual for additional important information. Instructions. To assemble your swing, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. If you choose not to use the AC adapter, your swing will require four D-size batteries. This is how to install the batteries. Locate the control panel and remove the cover using a Phillips head screwdriver. Insert four D batteries into the control panel and then replace the lid with the help of the screwdriver. Note, remember, batteries in the control panel are not required if the AC adapter is being used. Now you're ready to assemble the swing. First, unfold the back half of the control panel so it lays flat with control buttons facing up. You will hear it snap as it locks. Now locate the two L-shaped tubes. Connect both the left and the right front tubes onto the front frame base on each side of the control panel. Note, if you put them on the wrong side, they will not connect securely. The locking pins will help you determine the left and right sides. These two L-shaped tubes will form a U-shape once they are properly installed. You will hear a click once each side is properly connected. Next, snap the rear base into the bracket on the opposite side of the control panel with the ends pointing up. You will hear a snap once the part is in place. One by one, attach the right and left swing frame into the respective ends of the base. To identify the right from the left, Look for a slight indentation on the tubes of the right swing frame. You will hear clicks once each part is properly installed. Important! Make sure that the logos on the swinging mechanism are facing outwards. Now, locate the two longest screws provided to connect the crossbar into the bottom of the now swinging ends of the right and left swing frame. Tip: The tip of the triangle shape on the crossbar will be closest to the control panel. The right side tube has an indented end. Make sure this end is inserted into the right side as you're facing the swing. Note, if you put them on the wrong side, they will not connect securely. The locking pins will help you determine the left and right sides. Tighten with screws and screwdriver. With the help of a Phillips screwdriver and the four remaining screws, Connect both front and back seat tubes to the swing arm to create swing seat. This will resemble an oval shape when finished. Each end connects to the inside of the swing arms to create the platform for the swing seat. In order to properly install the seat pad, you will need to first unthread the shoulder straps from their tightening buckles on the back of the seat pad. Now. Place the seat pad over the frame using the pockets on the top and bottom of the seat pad. Tip: It will be easier to place the seat pad if the seat tubes are folded up slightly as in travel mode position, then unfold them back to the regular swing seat position. Place the headrest cushion by attaching its strap to the back of the seat pad. Adjust the restraint straps for the specific size of your baby by inserting the shoulder restraint straps through the appropriate slot. There are three height adjustment slots to choose from. Once inserted through the seat pad, feed the strap up and then back through the slots in the buckle to secure it. Important, the safety harness will not work unless these straps are properly secured into their buckles. Install the toy bar by first identifying the right and left sides. Tip, the insert on the right side of the toy bar has an extra set of grooves. Slide the toy bar downward from the top of the swing until it snaps into place in the grooves located at the top of the swing frame. If you are not using batteries, connect the AC adapter to the power cable that runs through the control panel. Note, the AC adapter is not necessary if batteries are being used.
Important, make sure your baby is properly secured with the five-point harness every time baby is using the swing. Never put baby in the swing unsecured. Folding the swing. Follow the next steps in order to fold the swing for easy transportation. Fold both seat tubes upward, closing the seat pad. While pressing the button on the bottom center handle, pull upward. The slim fold feature along with the carrying handle will make the swing conveniently easy to transport. Ingenuity designed with parenthood in mind.